we got an awesome haul to show you guys. I was able to pick up two awesome Golden Age books and two Silver Age books. I'm also doing an unboxing later in the video. Find out how much I paid for all these books and see what the books are going to be. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Comics with Bonix. Today we have a special video where I'm going to be going over a recent haul that I got. If you guys were able to check out my recent video, it was a mega trade where I was able to send out two huge books and receive four books back in return. And I also got a little bit of cash for, well, decent amount of cash back in part of the trade as well. So the amount of cash was 5,000. So I took the $5,000 and I put it towards these books and stay tuned to see what books I got. We have four books total that we did in a big purchase and two additional unboxings that you'll see later on in the video. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the books now. So if you guys remember, um, Quite a few months back, I've purchased a few Golden Age books from this seller already. So the seller reached out to me and said, hey, he's in need of some cash and he knows that we've been ma making some huge deals in the past. He mentioned that he was really happy with the previous transactions and he wanted to do another deal. He had some books for sale and wanted to know if I'd be interested. And so, of course, I mentioned to him I would be happy to meet up with him. Uh, it's a local seller here in my area, so I went ahead and went over to him on a weekend uh, with the cash that I made from the other deal. So here's the books I ended up getting fr uh, from him. I'll go ahead and go over the prices of this lot uh, at the end after I show the books. So the first book from this lot is a raw book. Uh, this one I've been wanting to upgrade for a while now. It is X-Men number four, the first appearance of Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, and the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. It's also the second appearance of Magneto. At a glance, this book looks amazing. It has uh, great colors, not a whole lot of defects, um, no chunks missing, so... I would say that this can be about a 3.5 to a 4. It looks even better than that, um, but it does have a decent amount of spine wear. So you can see that there. Nothing out of the ordinary. It was just uh, loved and read, so nothing really huge there. There is a little bit of soiling or staining right here. You can barely see it on camera, but a little bit there. That will probably keep it... From going above a 4.0. Right now I have a 2.0 so I'm looking to get this graded pretty soon so that I can upgrade my copy. I can go ahead and sell my copy. So that's the first book. I'll leave that there. So the next one is one of the Golden Age books. Um, this cover I've never seen before prior to, to seeing it in hand and this is uh, Golden Age Captain America. It's Captain America number 18. This is considered by CGC a classic cover. And this is Timely Captain America from 1942, September 1942, where he's battling uh, the Japanese. And you can see Captain America with his shield and one of the uh, Japanese enemies has blade pretty awesome cover you can see bucky right here fighting another guy back here um love the trade dress on this this was the red trade dress for the captain america timely books and this one i couldn't really find a value to it so i kind of had to ballpark to see um if it would make sense for me to pick it up at a price at a certain price i um you'll see what i offered the uh the seller but this one um is a conserved copy it the con conservation includes tear seals to cover cover and interior reinforced and staples replaced 
And I know in these Golden Age books, um, conservation will take a hit to the value, but not as much as like a trimmed book. So I'm still really happy to add this to the collection. Looks like I'm gonna be keeping this one for a while. And that's the front cover and we have the back cover right there. So pretty nice, awesome, timely Captain America. Super happy to add this. Probably the first timely Captain America I've ever seen in person. Um, when he showed me this, it was, um, it was something that I felt like I was, it was going to be hard for me to ever pick up another copy in person. So I had to make an offer on it. So that was the first Golden Age book. This is the second one. And the second one is Captain America number 17. And this one is pretty awesome as well. We see him battling some monsters in the front. Kind of has a horror vibe to it. Similar to kind of like a pre-code horror, but a superhero golden age book, which I absolutely love because it kind of, it kind of, uh, it's a hybrid of both genres, which is pretty awesome. So this one is a 4.0 universal label. So that's pretty awesome that I got the blue label with the black Captain America trade dress and an absolutely awesome cover. These Golden Age covers for Captain America were just one, it was just iconic for the times and similar back cover to that as well. So pretty awesome. I looked up both of these issues on the CGC census and I didn't realize it until I got home that these are super rare when it comes to amount of copies on the census. I think um, this copy has about 80 on the census and I think this copy has about 90. I could be, I could be swapping those but under 100 of copies total on the CGC census is pretty insane as far as rarity. I didn't realize how rare some of these uh, timely Captain Americas were so um, gonna be really difficult for me to decide whether I want to keep these or not. Um, I, I'm not a huge Golden Age collector so I really don't know how to evaluate them. Maybe you guys can help me get, get an idea of how to uh, put a valuation on these. I know there hasn't been many sold in the past couple years in these grades so um, maybe you guys can give me an idea of how to uh, come up with a fair market value so I can decide whether I want to keep them or sell them. So the last book out of the lot was a book that he didn't really want to let go at first. But uh, after some back and forth and negotiating, I wanted to pretty much give him all the cash that I had on me to be able to get as many of these books as possible. And this is the fourth out of the lot. It is Amazing Spider-Man number two, the first appearance of the Vulture. This is a 2.5 copy blue label and really really nice colors on this always the first thing i look at is the colors um, i know these early amazing spider-man the red can be kind of faded or orange but this one pops really really nicely and the one of the main detractors of the cover is that tape stain there not a huge deal um, not too noticeable doesn't detract too much from the cover so other than that it presents really really nicely for the 2.5 and um, I've been after this book for actually a couple years now it's been one of the books that I, it's been really hard for me to find to add to my to my collection because either it was too expensive or it was not in great shape um, always a hard book to find especially early spider-man um, a lot of collectors hold on to these books that's why they keep their value but Finally able to pick one up, especially was able to inspect it in person. And out of this lot, I'll go ahead and mention to you guys, I paid 4,500 total for this entire lot. The two Captain America books, The Amazing Spider-Man number two, and the raw copy of X-Men number four. So I think for 4,500, I think I did pretty well considering this one. I, I think I looked up the price. It was around 1800 for this one alone. And I'm thinking um, between the other three books, um, 
think more than makes up the 4,500. I think, um, you know, I think he didn't want uh, to let it go for 4,500. But like I said, we we kind of um, went back and forth. And uh, I mentioned him that that's literally the, the most budget that I had for these books. So uh, after a little back and forth, he accepted it. And I think um, I was happy to be able to grab these books at that price. Let me know if you guys think I got a good deal. And now we're going to go ahead and get into two more boxes. We're going to unbox those right now. So let's go ahead and get into the first box. So this first box that we're opening up is a Silver Age book that I was able to use some uh, gift card points towards my eBay purchase. So this ended up to be uh, $30. So um, overall it was $130 including uh, shipping. It is a copy of Captain America number 100. This is the premier issue that uh, started up the uh, long uh, standing Captain America run. This is a very low grade copy. I would say it's about 2.5 to 3 0 just because um, there's a lot of wear towards the top. There's a big long crease right there towards there and a couple of pieces missing here. But overall, I think I got a pretty good deal, especially I was able to use a hundred dollar gift card towards this purchase. So it came out to about 30 bucks. So that's a pretty nice uh, book there. Pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get into box number two. And for the last book, as part of this haul, we have a book that I've also looked for for quite a while now. So it looks like we're going to be adding another Spider-Man book to the collection, one that I've been after for a while now too. This is Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 1, the first appearance of the Sinister Six. And this one is a great looking 3.0. This one does have a little bit of a scribble there, which to me, that's not a big deal. It doesn't really um, detract from the cover either. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit about the Amazing Spider-Man number one, where there was some drawing that kind of went in with the art, the art on the cover. So it doesn't really uh, take away from anything from the cover. And this is pretty good looking copy for a 3 I must say. Cream to off-white pages. And this one, with this one, I am getting super close to owning almost every Spider-Man key on my want list. I'm probably about two away from getting all the Spider-Man Rogue Gallery villains. So this is just going to get me one more closer. So thanks for checking out my haul guys. This was an absolutely killer haul with all of the books that you guys saw. All six books added up to a little over $5,000 with the four books that I picked up for $4,500. This one, I added this one for about $630. So overall about $5,160. So $5,160 they were able to get six books total. So let me know how you guys feel that I did on this deal and comment down below which one is your favorite book from this haul. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you enjoy the content. And with that, guys, I want to thank you for joining me here on Comics with Monix. And as always, I want to encourage you to collect your passion. We'll see you guys in the next video.